now we're here at the sim lab first stop up from the basement floor um, this is a place where we do all of our ACLS training our NRP our trauma training as well as some specialized courses that we take in residency as well all done inside here which is awesome we have state-of-the-art equipment where you're able to be videoed and actually played back so you could actually see and assess where you're doing well, where you maybe need some improvement, and it's downright just fun. All right, let's go in. So this is just one of the few rooms that we have here in the Sim Center. As you can see, we have our mannequins that you're able to practice different procedures on, whether it's resuscitation, whether it's putting in IV lines or central lines. We also have a viewing station to view into the next room behind. Um, closed glass which is awesome to give real-time feedback as well to really improve your skills as a clinician all right. so now we're here at the gym which is on campus and it's free to all Concord Hospital employees free and it's amazing you have your squat rack you have ellipticals and uh, treadmills and then you got weights you even got your bow flex looking thing in the corner there and they actually do have some classes in here that you can take as well to just keep fit and it's really a nice thing that it's so close that even in between rotations sometimes on a busy day I'll hop down here for 25 minutes get a run in get a cycle in maybe pump a little bit of iron and it helps go a long way for to keep your wellness going all right so we're here at the corner blue no, I mean no residency experience is done on an empty stomach so we spend a lot of time here getting a quick cup of coffee or we get some nice little sandwiches and some different meals that they have here Definitely one of the places to check out when you get here. All right. So now we're in the ER, and right now I'm standing in what we know as the fishbowl, and this is where you do all your admissions that come in from the ER, or when you're on your ER rotation, you'll be lazing in here all the time. All right, as you can see, we work very closely with our hospitalists and get some good teaching done here. All right. So this is one of our ER rooms. We have a, we have 35 bed ER. 29 beds are open for everyone. We also have beds 30 through 35, uh, also specifically for mental health patients. Um, standard rooms, some of them are able to be divided in a couple um, rooms, if you will, if needed, if we have overflow. But yeah, when you're on ER or on medicine, you'll definitely be spending a lot of time down here. All right. So. We also have two trauma bays and we're a uh, ACS level two trauma center and that recently happened in the last year and a half to two years. Um, you definitely get experience being in codes and taking part in them. All right. So, we... so now we're here at our ICU. We have a 20 bed ICU at Concord Hospital, right? Um, we do see ICU patients, particularly when you're on medicine and we also round on ICU for a month in first year. Um, I spent some time in here, definitely getting to put some central lines in and doing some procedures, intubating patients as well. As you can see, pretty much regular size state of the art ICU room. Cool. Right outside of the ICU, we have our surgery OR suites. And then right behind there, we have our cath lab and behind this wall. And then that way is some more surgical rooms. All right, we spend some time here, definitely on surgery in second year, where you spend an entire month being in those ORs and also in cardiology when you're there for a month. Definitely my favorite place in the hospital has to be the cafeteria. I mean, we have gelato machines, we have hot food, we got pizza, we got all the salads that you need, drinks, we got light snacks and we have wonderful seating, even outside. We normally come here, sometimes after rounds, have lunch together, it's awesome. So this is our obstetrics unit. We have 20 beds, all single rooms, right? I spend a lot of time here because OB is a big interest of mine. Um, you get to deliver babies, get, get involved with laceration repairs, we do circumcisions, you get to scrub in in C-sections as well. Um, and it's really the way the room is designed is to sort of see a sort of home environment as opposed to a very medicalized place and actually some of these pictures actually do raise up to give as you can see behind here to give all the other um, equipment that we have so that's actually pretty neat we also have patient tubs so many times for 
pain control. We'll have some moms who will go into the tub if they want to have as natural a birth as possible. We also have that available to them as well. Alright, this is our circumcision room um, where your nurse will hold the patient down and we do our circs. We also have microscope availabilities and we do that to check for rupture of membranes and for fernie. And we have three triage rooms on OB where you will spend a lot of time once you're on obstetrics and also for your continuity deliveries coming in and providing obstetrical care to a lot of the patients that come in through here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed your tour of the jungle. If you didn't recognize, that was the theme that we we're going for here. Um, we have six pediatric rooms, and when you're on inpatient peds, you'll spend a lot of time here. Um, all single rooms again, and we get to work one-on-one -on -one with the pediatric hospitalists. And that's also the case, I think, in the general residency where an unopposed residency. So when you're on a certain rotation, you are that resident. When you're in the ER, you are that ER resident. You are that pediatric resident, that OB resident. And that really does help. And on med inpatient medicine, the same. That also does help very much um, to your learning because there are no competing demands from other residencies, which is a definite high point of our residency experience. All right, so this is one of our call rooms. We have, I think it's two to three call rooms. Um, each of them have a single cot. They have a workstation with a dragon and they even have a television too so for when you're on those long 24 hour calls or you're having a lot of like a very very slow rotation you could come here quietly get some work done get a couple of z's and get ready to go to the next step we're on five north which is one of our respiratory floors so our medicine floors include the third floor three south and the pcu four east um, five north and five south and five east as well as six north and six south. Um, this is what a regular room will look like. All single rooms, right? Um, there's a computer here if you need to do notes and for nursing to put in their, their orders, right? Um, we, some of these rooms do have lifts in them. Um, if patients have a difficult time getting in and out of the beds, they all have their own bathroom and washroom. So one of my other favorite places in the hospital is the gift shop on the third floor. The coffee here is amazing. Definitely one of the best kept secrets in Concord Hospital. But not only does this place serve really good coffee, it has almost anything you need. Like if you're running late to that party and you forgot to get that gift for your significant other, you could find it here. Anything you want. There's food supplies, there's jewelry, there's candles, there are cards, anything you want. So that's definitely very helpful and a really good time when you get here. Oh, welcome back guys. I'll just get my reading on. So, we're in the library now and we have a physical library at Concord Hospital which has tons of books as well as multiple online resources when you need to get that article in, um, your PubMed articles, up to date, um, even some of the more obscure journals, we even get that there. And our librarian, um, Maureen Dunn, is always willing to help find that article and get you access to something that you didn't think that you could get. All right. So we made it to the main entrance here, which is now the end of the tour. Um, behind me is the wonderful backdrop of that lovely spiral staircase. And we also do have a piano that does play in the background, which makes me feel like a little bit like Titanic. Love it. Right to my left here is the Payson Center, and this is our Concord Hospital's Cancer Center, which we do a lot of research and we do a lot of fundraising to help treat our cancer patients, um, which is definitely an essential service in this community.